Hello, this is Dr. Nicola, and I was wondering if you realize how much how you fuel or nourish your body with food could potentially have an impact on how you feel. Um, you know, a lot of people, we know that it makes us, you know, gain weight or lose weight, or we know that food can make us, our digestion upset, but a lot of us don't realize that there's actually a really important role that cortisol, which is our stress hormone, plays in regulating our insulin, which is the hormone that takes the sugar from the blood and puts it into the cells for usage or storage. But when cortisol um, is in the body, which is our stress hormone, so when we have a cup of coffee without something to eat, when we have, let's say, a, um, a muffin without anything else like peanut butter or an egg or something like that, then what happens is our blood sugar spikes and shoots up and we can actually feel a little bit agitated or anxious or just kind of not quite in our body and then an hour or two later that blood sugar drops again and that can leave us feeling um, irritable, uh, hard to focus, kind of tired, finding like maybe we need another cup of coffee, um, hangry is another thing that can come up for us quite a bit. And so, and then on and on we go because then we go for our second cup of coffee around 10 a.m. and then our blood sugar comes back up. Um, because if you think about stress and the stress response as an evolutionary thing that is designed to keep us protected from predators, um, then we need a lot of sugar in our bloodstream, especially in our arms and our legs, if we're going to successfully fight or flee. And, but most of us, when we're sitting at our desks or we're just doing our day, we don't need that actual sugar, um, that physiological sugar in our system. So even just something as simple as having a cup of coffee without anything in, the, in your stomach um, will actually spike that blood sugar because it stimulates a little bit of cortisol and that cortisol mobilizes blood sugar. The other thing to realize is that when you don't eat breakfast in the morning, we're not really telling our body that everything's okay. Physiologically, we are stressing our body out and our body thinks that we are in a famine and that there isn't enough food and so it doesn't turn on our metabolism, it doesn't start burning calories and it actually stresses us out and puts more cortisol, more physiological cortisol in the body so that um, we can mobilize stored fats and sugars to get through the day. Um, you know, again, our systems weren't designed with thinking about the, um, the availability of food that we have in our most of our current societies. I know that's not true for everybody. Um, but when we realize when, that our body needs to break the fast, which is what breakfast, that word is, um, then it physiologically tells the body there's plenty of food here, we're not in a time of famine, you can go ahead and start your metabolism normally. So hopefully that explains a little bit about how to simply eating breakfast. I'm not saying you don't have your coffee, but maybe have your coffee with some protein and good fat. And, um, and try that for the next week and let's see what happens to your energy and your mood and, um, and your general performance and feeling vibrant. Again, my name is Dr. Nicola. Thanks so much for joining today. Bye-bye.